finally at that time of the week again time for a new pro league match breakdown i will bring you some useful tips and tricks from the pros that you can start using yourself straight away to win more matches today we'll look at excellence versus flip side match and the maps oregon and skyscraper and if you like this video don't forget to hit thumbs up and hit subscribe and with that let's get straight into tip number one it's been going inside of box which if Flipside would have pushed that a little bit sooner, they might have caught him off guard. However, my man is going to be droned out here inside of the tower stairs. And it looks as though he might be seeing a pre-fire. No, Min's going to hit that door open, and my man... Ooh, he might be droned out here. If he, if my man gets droned out, he will get pre-fired. There is the pre-fire happening. My man just ducks right underneath, misses the target, and then decides to rotate all the way back downstairs. But Very nice angle here from my man. From the tower stairs, he has went here between this one and that. He just open up a little hole, and this way you can keep a good eye on the door if they're coming through. And if you're playing against a team that don't use drone as much, you're gonna hammer them when they come through that door. If you play like in this case, my man was droned out, so he had to move on. But if they're not ready for that hole, when they're coming in, they will go like this. They will swing out and be ready to pre-fire that corner. They will not expecting that hole up there of course they will see it if they if they go like this if they're expecting it but most people will not expect that they will swing out for the pre-fire down here and then you can easily shoot them off so very nice angle from up here and brian will take him down from behind the bar as he tries to go for the shot to the man now because that was a three armored operator with rook that my man it will not get finished off but he is very low on health and see, that's what I'm talking about there. That's exactly how you counter a push in through reception. Ooh, I like that angle, by the way. Blackbeard is very strong on this map for multiple reasons, because there's so many windows where you can repel and just have his shield protect him and just dominate some angles. And of course, the counter is jump outs, which is huge on this map. But if, for example, here, they played IQ, so you easily get rid of the cameras from Valkyrie, and then they could easily proceed with Blackbeard on the windows and just dominate some angles. So this is a very nice angle, creative angle, because defenders will usually have, you can find usually one here, the reception bar, they can rotate back, they will come out here and try to get people. You can also, these stairs are very commonly used for rotating and straight to the kitchen. So what they have done here, they had used the Hibana pellets to open because this was a course reinforced and you had blackbird playing outside here on the repel which makes he can easily move up down and away from people shooting at him so he at this angle he had completely cut off the kitchen here using this hole he can shoot if someone runs through the stairs maybe he will not kill them because we see the feet and we go fast but at least he will tag them and he can report to his team so the the defenders when they see this hole will not use this there, so you will cut them off. At the same time, you see this is the bar. So if someone is playing behind the bar here and not being careful, he can just pick them up from all the way back here and there's no way they can see you when they're playing inside the reception bar. Because if you go down here, if they try to look out, you see it's super bright and also with this shield in front of his face, they will not win this engagement. So very strong position from Blackbeard here. It could have been an entirely different story from Excellence. Mm -hmm. You can see here, there's an a absolutely reverse mirror window coming out where you can see Pachala playing right now. That's the opposite direction of where Excellence had it facing. Is it just me or do you also love when teams just bring out some new stuff, something you've never seen? Like for example, in Skyscraper, when defending up here in T-Room, Usually the attackers will come through this door, through the stairs, or maybe even here. They will basically come from the north side of the map. And you, for example, you have usually teams go in with Montaigne, Big Shield, just go in here, force their way in and, and plant. But flip side just totally flipped everything around because usually you defend towards Geisha, towards these stairs. But they defended from these spots. So what they did here, they had one mirror here. They had shoot out the entire part, bottom part here, everything, so you can see. So they have one playing here with this geisha. 
He had a shield here also to some cover and one guy playing out drum to hold in his back. They have tons of barbed wire in the stairs so if someone's coming up the stairs straight away here they will hear it and they will shoot them. They also had a rotation hole here for easy access in and out and a mirror inside geisha holding the hallway. Also here they had an, shoot out the entire bottom part of the, of the wall and they had a bandit down here who was had reinforced and was bad and tricking here hoping they would not open geisha and from this hole with four players on the south side trying to protect their hole here the only other player they had they had dot playing inside b but all the other four players were in this hole and this actually worked they won this round uh, they came from the north side and they couldn't come through when they had this setup but on the other hand they tried the exact same thing the next time and then excellence just came through here opened up open up forced them out of this hold and won the round so as always in rainbow six siege everything is situational it depends on the team you're facing but if they constantly coming from the north side and pushing in Try this one. It's a very effective hold if you're coming from the north side. Use that same rotation to get the flank on. So a 4 on 4 is going to stay at it for the moment as it's a 35 second round left. No, okay, there's, there's the that capital fire. That's yeah. what you've been talking about, how it denies oh. the push. Ooh, a little bit more wiggle room and that might just be the end of smoke. So when defending down in laundry, this is a pretty standard mirror setup that both teams use a lot. You have one facing north, keeping an eye on the stairs and the corridor here. And you have one more in here watching the hatch and the stairs and using this wall to shoot through. But there's a very good counter to this in the sort right here. We saw a very good use of Capitao in this case. Because he can sit up here and shoot his fireball just as he did here straight through here. Which makes it impossible for Miro to move or whoever's playing back there. Usually you have smoke because he then can toss out smoke grenades without exposing himself. But Whoever plays behind that mirror cannot move. If you set a fire arrow there, they cannot move out to shoot through the wall. And what they also did first, the fire bolt, and then they also put a smoke bolt here so they can't even see through the mirror anymore. And then you can move down to the objective much safer than if this mirror window was in play. So very smart use of capital to counter a very strong mirror hold down in laundry. On the roamers, force out some kills. Or will they simply focus on those west window and white stairs again? Ooh, what a good head tap there by my man! So if you're a higher ranked player, look away, this is maybe too easy for you, but I just want to show this because it's so easy and so smart that a lot of players don't do. Because he was playing inside kitchen. He get droned out, so shoot it off, and first thing he does is to reposition himself. So he don't stay in the exact same spot as the drone saw him. Secondly, this is a very good angle for multiple reasons. This is how you hold an angle basically because first of all You have a very tiny part here, so he can't see you that much You have a lot of things in between you and him. You have this this bench this this one You have the wall here and here so for him to see you When he is coming swinging out and your your head is just Yes, there and when he goes this far out he's already dead so this was a very smart play like basic play but smart play that not enough people do like shoot the drone reposition and find an excellent angle just like this and just wait for him to pop by and shoot him for the head control remaining all they don't really focus on those drop downs it seems to just mostly just be hey take control of north stairs move your way or sorry north tower north stairs and then move your way in through the construction this is something more defenders should do attackers are usually lazy they will leave the drone just outside the doors so they can get easy access to them and be quick into the objective or where they want to drone out when the round starts so for example on, on this map they will usually want to drone out lobby and, and top floor because they know that they have to clear it before entering. So they will leave a drone like this for example. You see? So it's just outside the door. So they can still see. For example, if the player who plays this drone dies, there can still be some use to this drone. So they, for one reason, they get a view even if they're dead. And two, it's very quick for them to just drive this in 
when the round starts so they're quick in. So what they did here was just lay down under and shoot out the drones. Because you have the this, this same spots where they usually be. Because for example in this objective, these three doors will most likely, if you check all of them, at least one of them would usually have a drone just waiting to go in as the round starts and when they are approaching. It's a very smart way to clear out the last drones because drones is the worst enemy as a defender. And I think he just got a kill through the hole, yeah, right through there, through the window. Right. So he's already pre-opened it, he's playing the vertical game, he's the one engaging in it. Now it looks as though Excellence has tried to cause a little bit of a distraction or a disturbance on the other side. If there's the one place you usually find an anchor when defending up here in tier room karaoke, they would usually be here inside B, laying down beside here. And you can do this in multiple ways. This is one way. They reinforced here to get some cover from the guys pushing up from the balcony. They have open up here so you can keep an eye here and also rotate easy so you just can crawl out and come this way so you will not expect it. And they also have the floor open down here. Because when they're coming through here, you, will be if you, you see, if he's laying down, they will see the hole here, but they can't see him. And they can't shoot here because he's in force, so they can't shoot down. at him. So what they have to do is basically come out here and lay down. And if you're laying down in the middle of the hallway, you should get killed because usually you also have this open up on this side. So you're very exposed if you're trying to lay down and get to him, and even he will kill you before you get down there. So it's a very strong position, and of course they can shoot you from here. But then you have some teams who also reinforce this. It gives you less movability because you're stuck there. If you if you have this open and playing down here, if they throw in grenade, if they fuse the window, if they rush anything. If you feel pressure, you can always escape, which is good. So if you play this open, you have to be aware of the stairs. So it's uh, positive and negative with both setups. But this position is a very strong anchor in this map, especially if you play smoke. For example here, he can just throw out smoke here and totally deny them access from the north, north door here on the north side so if you remain in this zone, very you strong anchor position who I would say always have one guy playing here if it's smoke if it's dock whoever you put here this is a very strong position to play on top of the dryer Meanwhile, the castle coming out from Flipside Tactics is going to be utilized, as you can see here, as he's opened up those rotationals, he's going to be utilized to kind of cut off lines of sight upstairs to allow for his roamers to roam a little bit more efficiently. When defending down in the basement laundry, attackers usually come through here in the lobby. They will open up this hatch, come through the stairs, but if you want to attack here, you need to clear the top floor, because otherwise you will get flanked to come down on you so what flips I did here was very interesting they put up a strong hold up here they reinforce this wall they have castles here here and that window they also had a mirror window here some barbed wire they had Jaeger ADS and they had a rotation hole here to get through themselves if they want to go flank them without opening the castle and they were basically holding upstairs to making sure they can't come through the lobby without clearing them here. But Excellence had a very good counter to this. So what Excellence did instead of clearing the entire top floor and the house, they just went in through the red tower. They came through construction they came through here. They just drone out to see that no one was in here, which goes much quicker than clearing the whole house. And then they just forced their way down. They came down the stairs, they came for constructions, and just with good flashbangs, they just took over the, obje the objective here. And the whole ID for from flip side to hold this side and the and the hatch and force them to go to the top floor to clear them out was a waste of time because they just came from the back instead. So interesting strategy from flip side, making them forcing them to take the top floor, but excellent counter from excellence to just go through the red tower and leave the roamers where they are. 
that's it for this time. I will soon be back with more Rainbow Six Siege videos and Pro League match breakdowns. So if you like the video, hit thumbs up, hit subscribe. I will see you next time.